Deontay Walter takes nothing but L's against Joshua. Nothing but L's. Like, two days ago, Deontay Walter came out, right? And he was hating on Anthony Joshua versus Joe Miller, saying that the American public wasn't going, wasn't going to accept this fight. He was saying, ain't nobody know who Joe Miller is, and ain't nobody know who Anthony Joshua is. So this is going to do horrible. He was wishing nothing but horrible uh, attendance, nothing but horrible, you know. Basically, he wanted this fight to fail, right? He wanted no one to watch this fight. So that he could go around and, you know, say that, oh, look, nobody knows who AJ is. But this guy sold over 6,000 tickets in the first two hours at Madison Square Garden. So how how the hell no one knows who Anthony Joshua is, but he's selling out 6,000 tickets in less than two hours. He's, he's selling out the world. He's breaking re- records for the fastest selling uh, uh, boxing event. In New York. So clearly, New Yorkers knew, know who Anthony Joshua is. Because the guy selling out six... Because you know, Joe Ron Miller is not as big as Anthony Joshua. I think Joe Ron Miller is nowhere near as, as known as Anthony Joshua. But apparently, Deontay Wilder claims that Anthony Joshua has no fan base. Right? He says he has no fan base in the U.S. But clearly, he does. And that's kind of pathetic because, you know, the U.S. is way bigger than the U.K., so the only guy who should really have a, a more of a fan base is Deontay Wilder. He should have more of a fan base, but he doesn't. Anthony Joshua has a bigger fan base, right? Because more people in his home country support him than, than, than people in Deontay Wilder's own home country support him, which is kind of sad. But that just goes to show you the state of boxing in, in the United States. Uh, boxing is not as popular, especially when the, with the heavyweights. You know, uh, once upon a time, uh, the heavyweight division used to be, you know, the cream and the cream where everyone was, where boxing fans went crazy for the heavyweights. I mean, look at when Mike Tyson was fighting. Look at when Evander Holyfield. Look at how st- the, the, the arenas were sold out. But, you know, these days, the, the only big fights happen with, uh, like, the smaller weight divisions. And to be honest, when it comes to the United States, some of the biggest stars or the pay-per-view stars in the United States are not even American. I mean, So Canelo Alvarez is a big pay-per-view star. He's like the biggest pay-per-view star in the United States right now. And he's not American. He's from he's Mexican. Right? He's from Mexico, right? So like I said, the last like big pay-per-view star in the United States was really Floyd with the Jr., who was actually an, an American, right? Was but but again, like I said, that just goes to the, the state of uh Wilder's popularity, you know. I think Anthony Joshua is already a bigger draw than Deontay Wilder, right? I'm not even scared to say that because not even Deontay Wilder sold out. You think if Deontay Wilder would have fought Tyson Fury at Madison Square Garden, you think it would have sold out 6,000 tickets in less than two hours? I doubt it. He had poor ticket sales in in, uh, the Staples Center in Los Angeles when he fought Tyson Fury, all right? According to uh, reports, only 13 people showed up. So already 6,000 people have paid to watch this fight live at the Garden in two hours. That's going to be an embarrassment for Deontay Wilder, man. If Anthony Joshua has more people attend this fight than than Deontay Wilder against Tyson Fury in the Staples Center. Because that just means that Anthony Joshua has more popularity in the fucking U.S. than Deontay Wilder has. That's an embarrassment. Deontay Wilder went around clowning Anthony Joshua, saying he has no fan base here, saying if he walked down the street, ain't nobody in hell will recognize him. But clearly, people know who he is. So, like I said, the only one who's going to look stupid here is Deontay Wilder. If they end up selling, if they end up having more attendance, more people watch. And imagine if more people, oh my God. Yo, imagine if more people watch this fight than they watch Tyson Fury versus a Deontay Wilder fight. All right? It's crazy how Anthony Joshua has a bigger fan base than Deontay Wilder in his own goddamn country. Deontay Wilder got to like, yo, Deontay, this is why, that's because Deontay Wilder's not fighting these big fights. If Deontay Wilder would have been promoted right and fought these tough opposition, people would know him better. Now, you, yo, Joe Ron Miller is going to be more, more known in the U.S. than Deontay Wilder because if he, if he beats Anthony Joshua... This is a big fight at Madison Square Garden now because it's selling out tickets like crazy. So if he beats Anthony Joshua at Madison Square Garden, people are going to be praising Joe. Everyone's going to know who Joe Miller is. 
So Joe Joe Ron Miller has the chance of being a bigger fit as of basically being a bigger draw than Deontay Wilder if he beats uh, Anthony Joshua at Madison Square Garden. You see, this could have been Deontay Wilder if he would have fought De Anthony Joshua, and he. W I don't even know what to say because it just goes to show you that uh, Anthony Joshua is internationally known. He's worldwide, all right. So when you hear Deontay Wilder saying, "No one knows," yo. Deontay Wilder's entire fan base knows who Anthony Joshua is. His entire fan base. You ever, you ever been on social media? You ever see his entire fan base critiquing and crucifying Anthony Joshua on social media? They're all Americans. And guess what, homie? They all know who Anthony Joshua is. Every YouTuber on uh, that talks boxing who's anti-Anthony Joshua and who only defends Deontay Wilder, they, all they do is make videos.